And I want to say shout out to the Most High, man. Like, I'm extremely grateful and humbled of all the love and the response I've been getting. Um, even yesterday, taking the truck out, you know, that support. But um, I'm gonna honestly say, man, I seen a lot of this shit. Like, I know when I talk like that, niggas be thinking I'm tripping, but I honestly be seeing shit. But I be understanding that no matter what I see, I still gotta do my part and do the work. And I just feel like how this whole shit works is like the universe and God is that um, you have to put the time in. You can't cheat the process. You know what I'm saying? Like I put the time in with fashion and I knew I had to put the time in with music, but I knew the gift was there. I knew what my, my, my attributes was with music and it was my ear. So I feel like it just confirmation when I see these DMs cause it's like, I already knew it, but it's love though, because it's like, even with clothing, like when a nigga be like clothing, like, you know how many times niggas done hit me up and was like, man, somebody stole my hat or I can't find my hat. That be confirmation, even though that's fucked up that somebody like stole your shit, but it be confirmation once again that I made a product that was so good that somebody valued it where they wanted to take it. Cause a lot of times to me, like, I mean, I always preach this, man. Art is dope to me when it don't have no fucking cosign, when that shit is just pure. When this bitch could be sitting on this chair and I could be out the car and somebody get him be like, man, that motherfucker hard, oh, man, I need that. That shit, and I wanted that same effect with the music. And I feel like little by little, that shit is starting to happen. And for me, that's how I know I got something. Not when I got the nigga that's already popping, saying you popping. When you kind of just directly hitting the fans and they saying like, nah, dawg, this shit. So everybody that's been DMing me, showing me love, man, I appreciate y'all because I, re I really honor the feedback. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's good or bad, like, I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I'm always got my ear open and you know everything is a case study for me but at the same time i know i've been new what type of music i make i make a bop man i make music that instantly when you hear it, you're going to dance to it you it's going to be a vibe it's going to be a feeling and so you know when when certain people be like yo this is the one i'm like y'all don't even understand like, i got a catalog full of that like you know what i'm saying i feel like Niggas be like, what's your sound? I don't have, I'm never going to have a sound because I'm always, it's just like fabric shopping to me. Like, that's like a nigga asking me what fabrics you like. Like, when I go to a fabric store, I'm not looking for it, but I'm looking for whatever catch my eye that's hot to me. That's how I approach music. Like, I don't really, it's a vibe and it's a bop. And if I feel like it's my, I'm going to hop on it. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But that's how this shit. One of the blessings is too, is that I don't have no ego. I'm still like a kid at heart. So like, to me, it's never about like when I'm making music or making clothing, it's never just always about me, me, me. It's more so like I make something, it's for me, but then I love to get the response from the people because I want y'all to be, if I'm selling it, then I want y'all to feel good about it too. And I think a lot of times like artists, they get into this selfish mode where it's like, it's my way or the highway. But for me, if I'm giving somebody a product, Yes, initially I want to feel good about it because I'm a, you know what I'm saying, I'm making it. Not time to for me, I'm making it for myself and just sharing it to the world. But at the same time too, the moment I put a dollar on it, I got to be receptive of the people too because it's that saying, like the customer is always right. Like, like you could put something out and you could feel so good about it, but if nobody's supporting it, then you shouldn't even sell it. I'll tell you why it's good to like use the people for the response because so many times, in so many different situations i've been doing something with people my person and i give my perspective and they had their own perspective and i'll be like right, well let's just try it this way and then we'll try it your way and let's you know let's ask a couple questions and then we'll put out my way or we'll put out their way and i feel like whoever way is getting the most response that how you know that's the way you feel me and i love to do that because I know a lot of times my ideas or certain shit I be doing be left, but when I do that and then I, we ask questions and the niggas be like, nah, that's, I fuck with that. And they be like, I, I told you. That's it though. That's the nuance. So now it ain't just my ego and your ego. Now we just getting somebody that's neutral. The neutral is always going to give you the real, especially with kids. Kids going to let you come to creativity. Kids is always going to give you the pure because they're not jaded. They're not tainted. They're not... They don't, they don't, nobody has taught them why not to like something. They just gonna like it if they like it. 
And so, like, that's what's cool about music to me is, too, is because, like, I'll be making certain songs or I'll make certain stuff. And as long as Seven like it, I know it's something. Or as long as I see other kids vibing with it, I know I got something. Because humans, we are, once we get to a certain point, we automatically become biased. All type of stuff. Political stuff. Clothing. Um, cars. But, you know, a kid, if they see it and they like it, it's pure, man. And so that's why they say the youth run everything is because the youth whatever they gravitate to is something it's a science to all this shit man but i'll be giving y'all jewels man y'all thank me later though man but when you understand this shit it's like third eye open the other day i'm gonna get a best example i'm at seven's um gymnastics class right so i'm talking to a lady and we start talking about sports so i started bringing up michael jordan and my analogies on why he's great and this and that then I gave her a best example of like Tom Brady. I said, he got the same cloth. Like he got that, just knowing how to will his team to win. So she gonna say, not Tom Brady. I mean, yeah, he's a winner, this and that, but I mean, he's a this fan, he, he supports this guy and this and that. And instantly I'm like, there you go. She knows he's a winner, but you gonna like him because he supports that entity over there. For me, I don't, I judge things for what it is. like. When it comes to talent, I'm a, when I'm talking about talent, I'm talking about talent. I'm not talking about what the guy doing his personal time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about winning in sports. So it's like, but see, that moment, she's biased because she knows he wins. Even though it's undeniable that he's a winner, she don't like him because for whatever reason, she done put in her head not to like him. And that creates bias. And even like, even with my clothing, man, I used to, I'm going to tell y'all this. I never really, I shared this with a couple people individually, but shit on here when i used to be in the beverly center that that's what really opened my mind to everything in life how this shit really i used to see all wax of life come in the beverly center and spend a hundred dollars for a hat bro a hundred dollars didn't know who made it didn't know it was a black guy asian guy a mexican guy i didn't know they just used to come and like the art this whole wall full of hats and i used to sit back and just be like yeah, this is crazy like this is love like they really rocking with this shit right then I opened my own store. I opened my store in Inglewood, right? Now, granted, I know I'm in the streets. I gotta show the streets love. I'm not in the Beverly Center. Like, $100 a hat is a lot, but it ain't. You know what I'm saying? A lot is always depending on the, the value of what you said and what your pockets could do. But I know I'm in the wood. I mean, I'm trying to open up something in my community. So I'm gonna I'm drop the price. So I dropped the price. The hat's 75 now. Some are 85, but most of them are 75, right? So I had some people come in, some artists. Right? Don't want to say the name because I'm just not really a name dropper. I just want to give y'all the scenario. So he come in, he see all the hats. He say, damn, bro, these look like the hats in the Beverly Center I, I, I spent a hundred dollars for. It. So I laugh. I say, yeah, man, I, I'm the dude that make those in there. He said, nah, you ain't the dude. I say, bro, I ain't what I got a lie for, but I'll make those hats. He said, now I got like 80 of hats. So he's like, how much are they here? So I tell him they 75 or 85, right? He like, bet get on his phone to call his homies bruh tell me why them hats in the belly center it's a nigga in the wood that really make these shits bruh pull up so he called this and that so now he grab he grab a couple hats for, i guess for his niggas get there whatever so he get to the register he say man what's my total i told i told him up he said man i can't get no discount i said damn i said damn dude, when you were spending a hundred for a hat and you didn't know it was a black nigga making it and you didn't have to direct did you ask them for a discount he said nah I said, well, what we'll, we'll, we'll make you think like, you know what I'm saying? Our, if you spend 100 and the hat's now 75, that's instantly the discount, right? But instantly, though, that's a form of bias because the moment he saw a nigga that's the same and this is the, uh, at, I don't know how to say that shit, but the, you know what I mean? The same color as him, he felt like he could get over because that's what we do with our people. That's bias to me. You feel me? So anybody that's really in tune with this shit understand that that's just a part of the game. So it's like you just try to, the whole point of a game is to outthink the game. So when you know that, for me, that's why I always preach to y'all just make a hot product because I know I'm dealing with bias in any, you know what I'm saying, arena I get into, whether it's music, fashion. So it's like if the product hot though, it don't even matter because that trumps the bias nine times out of 10. Like when something's hot, 
niggas gonna look past that shit like fuck it i still want it it is what it is like if i would have told the nigga i still gave i still show love though because he bought about like five or six hats so i still show love on the price but at the same time it's one of those things where it's like if i would have standed on my price i know i still would have got that because at the end of the day the nigga the way he was acting when he found out it, like he found the plug he was gonna pay that price anyway so it's like when the product is hot it's hot you know what i'm saying and that's just how I feel. I preach that. I'm gonna preach that to the end of me. You know what I'm saying? That shit. How that's how the shit go. Run DMC. Um, For years, people years, thought that Tupac. Run DMC and Naughty by Nature owned Walker Ray. Yeah, Ooh. I was very ambiguous on purpose because I remember having a conversation.